Okay, this this was the classroom um, that I was at for five years. Um, between the years of, it would be 1994 and 1999. Uh, it's very strange being back here. I was hoping I could see through the windows at the desk I sat at by a car. Very strange memories coming back here. Many a time spent running up and down this corridor. For the record, this is Hellsby High School in Cheshire. Um, very weird, very strange coming back. Those windows that we can see directly in front of us now. I specifically remember one of the guys uh, breaking one of those windows by accident, just getting a bit too rough at playtime. Yeah, very weird. Very old corridor. Now, here, this is the room where I studied CDT with um, Mr. Quick. It was Mr. Quick. And all the stuff, you can't really see from this, but all the stuff looks pretty much the same. Uh, the benches, the tables, the machine. You know, it's over 20 years since I started at this school. So there's a lot of memories here. Every little corner, every nook and cranny has got a memory attached to it. When I was at the school, this new brick building wasn't here at all. That was my full room. This wasn't here. So I'll just go for a quick one there. Went in and out of that door many, many a time. That's the CDT block. Oh wow, that corridor looks familiar. It even smells the same. It smells the same. So here we come out to the playing field. And here we are. One of the biggest playing fields in the UK. Boy, did we do a lot of sport on this field. There's some kids playing football in the distance, one of which is my five-year-old son. This room that you can see in front of you is a storeroom. Uh, when I was at school, I used to do a lot of athletics, shot putting, javelin and things like that, and they were all stored in this room. So, a lot of memories locked up in there. This area here, this piece of grass, was where I used to practice my shot put every lunchtime. I'd stand right around here and throw a shot put right in that direction. Yikes! There's probably still bumps in the grass now from where they landed. So as we come down this way, again, lots of memories flooding back. There's a rather large brick building in the distance that wasn't there when I was at school, but this is all very much the same. It's pretty similar. These are the music rooms. Uh, look a lot better than when I was there. There's guitar, double bass, uh, laptops, desktop computers. Things have really changed. Yeah, many a fun afternoon spent in those rooms. Wow, it's a drum kit. This is one of the music practice rooms. Yeah, wow, crazy. Lots of fun in there. Forward we go. I remember that. Dan never found out what it was for, possibly tying up kids that weren't behaving themselves. Again, 20 plus years ago, folks. 20 plus years ago. Okay, I have a photo at home. I have a photograph of the last. I have a photograph of my last day at school. And we were all posing in this little uh, sort of courtyard area here. So it'd be nice to dig out that photo and recreate it. Wow. Wow, I remember this. Strange memories on this sunny May afternoon. Very strange memories. But it's nice. It's nice to revisit old things. Um, doesn't even feel like it's a day since I was last here. So this is my history room. Wow, I always struggled at history. I got a good grade in the end, but wow, it took a long time. Okay, here we go for a walk. 
Mmm, familiar smells coming back, that grassy, uh, summery, nostalgic, histamine type smell. Memories? Ah, my old geography room. Bigger than I remember. Much bigger than I remember. Okay, so I'll take you across the school field and we'll go back to where my son is playing football. Now, let's just dwell on that for a minute. That is a crazy thought. I can remember being here at this school as a child, like yesterday. I can remember it so clearly. It seems like yesterday. Nothing's changed. I'm the same. I still feel the same. I remember feeling overwhelmed and lost and wondering what was going on around me. And now, 2018, I left the school in 1998, it's now 2018, and I'm here with my five-year-old boy. Not only my five-year-old boy, but also my three-year-old son and my wife. Now, for a gawky teenager, gawky young man, I think I turned out okay. Yeah, I've not set the world on fire, but here I am. I have a beautiful family. And on that note, I'll see you later.